2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to, to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Shall salutations to the Akim out there pushing and laboring in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. To you, I say Shalom. Also to the one third, hopeful elect, the Aqua, listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. Also to the scattered Israelites among these heathen nations that look just like these heathen nations, but go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and believe wholeheartedly in the in this gospel, in 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 this truth, the Holy Bible. To you, I say Shalom. So this this video is going to be a basically and I grabbed a few precepts about the Lord coming uh, his second coming man you know and the scriptures say multiple times that the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night man right I'm going to read this again uh, Second Peter chapter 3 verse 10 it says but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. That's right, man. You know, that's the nuclear missiles, right? The date, the, the, the Lord's wrath, man, you know, and, and uh, let me grab this preset real quick. Let's go here. Uh, Malachi, the fourth chapter. Right? Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave uh, leave them neither root nor branch. Exactly, man. Right? It says uh, all the proud, man. Right? Who is the most proud uh, people on this on this planet right now, man? You so-called white people, man. You Edomites, right? You are are very proud, man. That's why you walk around with, with, with that uh, uh, that American flag, right? You you have so much pride in that flag when when all you've done to to receive this uh, uh, your power is um, rape, rob, and murder, man. And lie and cheat. That's it. And and you're proud of that, man. That's why you you created these these hollow days, right? These holly days, uh, to remember the atrocities that you've done in order to get to where you're at, man. You know, Thanksgiving, right? Independence Day, and and all of these different holidays. You know, you, you have our people, you know, worshiping these days, man. And, and a lot of these days were created when, when we were being destroyed, man, or we when we were enslaved. But it says that all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. And um, in the book of Obadiah, it said the house, of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it real quick. You know, I'm really going through the spirit, but, I, you know, I got a couple precepts. To bring out. This is uh, Obadiah. Uh, verse 18. It says. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them. And devour them. And there shall not be any remaining. 
of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Right. Hey, Esau, you're 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 just double, man. Right. To be burnt, to be burnt, to be burnt up. Right. And, and the Lord is, is coming, man. You know, he's coming quickly. Uh, this is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Exactly. Hey, when a, uh, when, when a woman has a child, you know, especially uh, either a newborn or just a, a young, um, you know, adolescence, you have they have to protect that child, man. That child can't protect themselves. Right. And, and women are, are already the weaker vessel and, and they can barely protect themselves, man. That's why they need men. That's why you need a man. Right. So all you women out there, you know, who, who don't have a man of the Lord, hey, you need to pray for a man of the Lord, man, because you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to uh, withstand Jacob's trouble. You know, the Lord is about to get busy on our people, man. And all we can do is hope and pray that we're a part of that elect number to receive mercy, man. Right. And to be hid in that day. Right. But it says as travail upon a woman with child, um, uh, destruction cometh upon them, man. Right. Women can't protect themselves, man. That's why uh, they, they, you know, they have certain little knickknacks now. They got uh, mace. Right. Some women even have swords, man. They got little pistols. Right. But we, hey, in the heat of the battle, when when, when you know shit hit the fan, you're not going to be trying to uh, shoot nobody, man. You're going to be running. You know. Uh, verse four says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Exactly, man. We have these scriptures, uh, these scriptures. You know, Yahweh Shai has opened us up to this knowledge, man. You know, we know that the missile's coming. We know that martial law is coming. We know that uh, this devil is about to establish uh, his uh, his new system, man. The mark of the beast. You know, we know these things. That's why the scripture says that that day should overtake you as a thief. You know, we're not in darkness, man. We're not in the dark. We're in the light. Right. Verse five, it says you are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness therefore let us not sleep as uh, uh, as do others but let us watch and be sober exactly man constantly in uh scriptures man in uh second Ezra the ninth chapter it says uh measure the times diligently man you know and how do you measure the times diligently in itself you got a hey, Stick to the prophecies, man. You know, there's all kind of prophecies going on overseas right now. You know, with uh, Gog and Magog, and um, and uh, them. You know, the Russians. Hey, hey, they're supplying these nations, man. You know, and and now Turkey is is in cahoots with Russia, so things are rolling, man. The Lord, uh, he put a <laughs> he he lit the wick. And it's all just a matter of time before that, that, uh, you know, that final prophecy blow up, man. It's all just a matter of time. So, um, this is Revelations chapter three, verse, uh, two, it says, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the most high. Remember therefore how thou has received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt no, uh, not know what hour I will come upon thee. Exactly, man. The Lord said, watch, uh, watch, hold fast and repent, man. Right? We have to make sure that, that um, you know, we, we keep our garments, man. You know, holding on to this truth, holding on to this this knowledge, man. First and foremost, the names of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right. Because what Proverbs 18 and 10 says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth in into it and are safe. Right. 
if you're not calling on the name of the Lord anymore, hey, who, what are you going to do in those days, man? You know, who are you going to call? So first and foremost, we need to make sure, you know, we're meditating on the name and we, we're meditating on these scriptures and, and practicing, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You know, keeping our garments as clean as possible, man, and asking the Lord to, to forgive us for our sins. You know, this is a uh, revelation chapter 16 and verse 14. It says, for they are the spirit of devils working miracles. Oh, Salakia, verse 15. It says, um, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Exactly, right? Uh, it says, blessed is he that watcheth, man. Watch what? Watch for the prophecies, right? Once once uh, these these heathen nations start ganging up on, on uh, the whore, you know, Hey, what the scriptures say, the um, the ten horns shall uh, the ten horns shall hate the whore, man, or or the beast shall hate the whore, you know, because why? Hey, the, the bitch is proud, man. Hey, I I can't stand a proud woman, man. You know, with her with her nose up in the air. You know, as is she, you know, just untouchable, right? She's just the baddest bitch ever, you know. You know I, I like just. Whenever I see it, man, I can just, I can smell it, man. I can sense it, you know, and, and it's unattractive, right? So imagine if you got, you, you got this, this person boasting, right? Talking all this mad, you know, mad, uh, crap. Like, Hey, you can't touch me, right? If you touch me, you're you going to get jacked up and then they get popped in the mouth and, 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 and knocked down. And now they balling out crying, man. You know, and that's what's going to happen to America, man. America is, is is writing a check that his ass cannot cash, man. You know, but hey, that's all that's hey, that's prophecy, man. Right. Because the scriptures say a house divided shall not stand. You going against your own allies, man. You going against your own people, you know, and it's beautiful. The water, you know, you know. But blow this, blow this place up, please. You know. So, the missiles are coming, man. It says, uh, Revelation is twenty two and seven. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of of the prophecy of this book. Yeah, exactly, man. How do you keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book? You have to continue to study. You have to continue to read, making your videos. Right. Going on the highways and byways in Matthew's 22 chapter or uh, the 22nd chapter. Right. It says, what? Go ye out on the highways and hedges and bid as many as you can find to the marriage, man. And it also says that in Luke, man. Right. So we have to we have to keep the sayings in this in this book, man, to the best of our ability. Because the Lord cometh, he's coming quickly, man, it said, uh, um, behold, the first and second war are, are, are past and the third come quickly, man. Hey, that third war is, is, is right around the corner, man. You know, this is the last script I got. This is a uh, revelation chapter three, verse 11. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold fat, hold that fast, which thou hast that no man take, take thy crown him that overcometh, Will I make a pillar in the temple of my power? And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. Exactly, man. It says, I come quickly, man. That's Yahweh Shai speaking, man. He said, hold that fast with thou, with thou hast. Like whatever you got, man. The Lord gave you five talents and you making your increase. Hold that fast. You got two talents. Hold that fast, man. You got one talent, you know, make that increase, man. And it says, let no man that no man take thy crown. Hey, that's you as well, man. You know, it be yourself. You know, different uh, spirits, you know, plaguing you, uh, seducing you to go off to blaspheme. Right. Whatever it may be, man. That no man may take thy crown. 
Not even yourself. That's why we need a savior, man. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. Because hey, we can't do this on our, on our own, man. We need our king. You know? He's our king. The Lord chose him to, to, to rule over us, man. And, and we have to follow him. We have to, hey, the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice, right? Day of Israel, uh, um, day of Israel is not, uh, Salak, I don't know. Let me see if I can grab that real quick. Bear with me. Thank you, Sam. I'm trying to remember how it goes. Let me Google it. Oh, they. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 6. It says, Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Exactly. That's uh, the point that I wanted. Um, basically, hey, when I say, uh, quoted, uh, my sheep hear my voice, right? Because the elect is going to hear the words of Yahweh Shai, man. The elect is going to... Uh, uh, take heed to these sayings, right? To repent, to call on, on the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know? To re rehearse the righteous acts, right? Not that the, oh, the law is done away with. All you got to do is pray over the over the swine and it's, and it's clean. That's not true, man. And and all you people out there that's twisting the word of the Lord and 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 you doing this for filthy lucre's sake, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. You know, if you don't repent. But uh, I just wanted to make that quick video. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. With that, I want to say shalom.